You know, I've been on YouTube uh, watching a lot of the videos about the fastest chainsaws, the best chainsaws, and I think it's time to kind of go back a little bit and uh, go old school when cutting wood. So, so I want to show you guys uh, the bow saw, which um, if you don't mind if I indulge you guys, I want to give you a couple stories about these bow saws. Um, this bow saw uh, goes back to, uh, to my childhood. You know, a lot of the tools you have, you get, you know, you get handed down from your father. So um, when I was probably between eight and 12 years old, we had an ash tree out in the woods and it was maybe, uh, it seemed like it was huge, but it was probably only, I don't know, maybe 10 inches in diameter. And it was my goal. The tree was like, it was a leaner, and it was my goal to cut that tree uh, off what it was on and, and uh, uh, you know, cut it for firewood. And uh, it was with this very saw, like this was, was my first taste of, of chainsaws or, or saws, I guess. And, um, you know, I just have fond memories of, of cutting that log and I, I somehow I cut the tree down and thank God I didn't get hurt, you know. Um, and then when I, once I cut the log down, I, I made it into like five foot lanes and I pulled it with a piece of rope by the house. And I can still remember, you know, using this bow saw and, and just feeling that burn in your arms, you know, because um, you just keep cutting and just going with it. So uh, good, good memories there. And then this guy here, uh, this was actually a Christmas present, which probably would have been very soon after I had done that, where my parents got me a bow saw, uh, which you gotta admit is a pretty cool, a pretty cool uh, Christmas gift for, a, I don't know, 10, 12, whatever I was. Um, so I wanna talk about bow saws. You know, you don't need a chainsaw. If you're cutting a lot of wood, you need a chainsaw. But if you've got like a quarter acre lot or half acre lot, you don't need to go out and buy a $200 chainsaw or $300 chainsaw if you just have one big limb fall down. Uh, one of these guys and a little bit of patience is gonna take you really far. And uh, the cool thing with bow saws is you can change the blades. And I, I just did this before the video started when it wasn't snowing. And uh, it, it takes a little while to change the blades because you do it once like every 10 years but it can be done. With this one, what you do is you, you move the handle back, you take the pins out, you take this pin out first, then you take this pin out, put the pin, you know, put the new blade in, and then, you know, it takes a while to line up, but you line it up and then you crank it to get the tension. With the old school one, and this one was a bit of a bear to change, and it turns out stink bugs, uh, this has been in my shed for years, stink bugs love to go in here and die. Uh, so I had like, eight or 10 dead stink bugs fall out of this thing. But what you do with this one is you have to kind of squeeze it together in like some kind of Superman move. And I, you know, tried to do it on the workbench, it didn't work, but you, um, there's two little pins. And again, don't lose those pins because I'm not sure you can get them again. But once you, once you pull the pins, you can get one side in, keep tension on it, and then get the other side. And I, I noticed it was easier. It's less of a distance on this side than it is on this side. So I put this side on first and then tried to squeeze it to get this side. But uh, before the snow gets too out of hand, let's, um, let's just show you guys that, uh, you know, bow saws, uh, bow saws work. I got this nice trailer, which is just the right height to hold the wood. And one thing you gotta keep in mind when you're using a uh, bow saw is these are very coarse teeth and uh, it's gonna pull the wood. So you gotta lean on it, you know, pretty heavy. But uh, once you got the, the branch where you want it. You can just start sawing. And this one is kind of cool because I could, in theory, do it two-handed. But you know, if you pace yourself, uh, you're not gonna blaze through this stuff like a chainsaw for sure, but if you pace yourself, you know, you can certainly, uh, you can certainly get the job done. So then we got the little guy here, which, uh, you know, it'll still do the job and it might actually be easier because it's a more of a one-handed design. So we can just uh, put it in the wood.
And look at that, I'm getting exercise and making firewood. How cool is that? Guys, the snow is getting pretty heavy out and I don't wanna screw up my video camera, so we're gonna call this one. You know, if you have a little bit of cutting to do on something, a, a bow saw is a very viable option. You just gotta make sure you really hold that wood tight because it's got those coarse teeth and you don't want to slip it out. Um, and you gotta be careful because one of my, one of the things I did learn when I was young, one of the first things I learned with a saw was I got this little hobby kit with a saw and I went in the woods and I was cutting a tree and I asked a friend to, to hold the branch for me. And uh, you know, I didn't, we, we were young, we didn't know how to hold branches. And um, my friend, you know, uh, didn't hold it as tight as he could have and it slipped and I ended up cutting, uh, I have a scar on this finger. I got like eight stitches on this finger from the saw slipping. And uh, I guess that's where I learned, you know, to kind of uh, make sure you hold your own stuff um, or use a sawhorse or something like that. But uh, just be careful, bow saws, bow saws are extremely sharp. So thanks for watching today, guys, and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. I'm gonna push down on this. Now you see this, th that's a very sharp blade, so I want you to grab it from the back and pull towards me when it's time. And very carefully, Pull, you got to keep upward. Oops, keep pulling up on it too, a little bit, not a ton, just a little bit. Okay, so move it back a little bit, and then slide it into that slot. In the slot. Okay. I think we did. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Why are there so many bugs in there though? I don't know. Because really... this thing has been in the shed for like 10 years. Oh. I wonder if we should put that on tighter. I don't know, can I? No, no. All right, Matt. Is there room for it tighter? I don't think there is. All right, Matt, you're good. Thanks for helping.